So you're really starting to get the hang of adding new users to your system now. And maybe you've got 500 of them in there, but hang on a minute, how do I actually find where they are? Where are they all sitting? How do I activate, deactivate, suspend, unsuspend, delete them even? Uh, maybe I made a mistake and I wanna get rid of them. Um, where are they all hiding? Are they actually in the system somewhere? How do I know? So this is what we'll just quickly step through now to have a look at, well, where are all those users and their accounts actually sitting? So from my home page on the left-hand menu bar, I'm gonna to go to my users and expand the menu bar there. I'll go to the second item down, which is called browse users. And it's that easy to find the list of all our users. So if you have a look at my breadcrumbs, we're now sitting in there under accounts, under browse list of users. And we now have a list of all the users that we have within our system. Now you'll notice at the top of this section here, we have a, um, a area, a collapsible section called new filter. And what we can actually do is change what users we're actually looking for. So we can set some users to customize um, the view that is actually shown to us. So if I click on show more, you'll now see that I've got a whole a range of things that I can actually filter my browse list of users screen by. So maybe I wanna look for people only with a certain first name or only without a certain first name. For example, does not contain a certain word. Maybe I'm wanting to look for people with a certain email address. So for example, I might say email address must contain at <clears throat> gmail.com. So I'm only wanting to filter people with a Gmail address. Maybe I wanna have a look at whether people have a suspended account or not. Maybe certain profile fields are assigned a certain system role. So there's lots and lots of things that we can actually add to, to actually filter these particular users by. So I might just, for example, say a system role of manager, and I'm gonna scroll down and say add a filter. Now I'm pretty sure I've only got one or two, I've got three, yep, there we go. So we can now see that with that filter applied, we now have one active filter in place, and that is that the system role is manager. Now, as a result, my browse list of users screen has been customized, and I'm now only looking at the people that are relevant and that um, apply to that filter. At any time, I can go back and I could add another filter. Now, filters can be stacked on top of each other. So if I went and added another filter now here, it would say the active filters would be that their system role is manager and whatever other filter I just added as well. So they stack up. So it's just be careful of that because sometimes that does catch people out. They sort of, they forget that that original filter is also still being applied. So if you want to reset it at any time, you can simply tick the individual filters and remove just selected filters, or you can remove all filters and return back to the normal list which shows you the full user count of users that are in your particular system. Um, so it's a really great way just to be able to see how many people you've got in your system, um, <clears throat> especially if like user totals and user counts um, is something that you're concerned about or that you're looking into. It's a great way to just have a look at where it's sitting. The other benefit through here is a really quick and easy last access. So this is the last access that that particular person has made into the system. So it doesn't, it's not specific to any course in particular, just the last time they logged into the system. Um, so it lets you know. So maybe if you're not getting into any interactions out of somebody, you've sent them some communications, but there's nothing sort of coming back from them. You can have a look here and go, ah, so they've never logged in. And maybe now I need to reach out to them as a result or something like that. So it's just a really good way just to get a quick, easy indication for it. On the far right hand side, under the edit section there, you see your three common Moodle icons. And that is the delete trash can, the suspend and unsuspend um, user eye icon, and then just your normal edit cog icon. So if I was to click the edit cog, for example, it will take me back to that user profile page. So this is just exactly what it normally is. So it's the user profile page. This is where I could change any of their profile um, details. It's also where I could also reset a password for a user. Um, if you didn't want them to get them to do it themselves, you would be able to do it for them there. I have the ability to suspend and unsuspend a user. So if I close the eye and therefore suspend the user, they will gray out as you can see here. And a suspended user is a user that can no longer log in. So we keep all their details, but they can no longer log into the system. It's really, really great for, particularly for organizations for archival purposes. You know, maybe somebody's finished their course, maybe they've left the organization. You might wanna suspend them just for that seven year period, um, in which case after that seven years, you then might delete them. 
And then the last option here is the delete icon. So when you do delete a user, you're deleting everything. You're wiping their grades, their scores, their submissions, everything. So it's really, really important for you to consider as a business, which way are you gonna go with your user handling? Are you really gonna delete people or are you only gonna delete people after a certain period of time? So many organizations are choosing to suspend users until maybe seven years are up, whatever their sort of um, auditing sort of uh, processes are. And then after that period, they would then say, all right, we will now delete the user because we no longer need to hold their records on file. So it's whatever sort of works for your system and, and for your organization itself. So that's the browse list of users screen. Um, it's a really great area. You, you find yourself coming in here quite a lot, just looking through your users, um, being able to edit their profiles and actually manage the users within your system.